After driving people around in a limo for many years, I had zero dollars in the bank, so I decided to turn my life around and move on to better things. This is my challenge to become a millionaire. All right, boss man, that's a good way to park too. Uh, there we're you going, go. We're Just going. floor it, man. Spencer, you like my hat? No. You should go back in that hole. Why is there a guy in a robe here? Oh my, oh my goodness, 720. Hey guys, how's it going? Terrible. Oh! Fuck, watch yourself, you're flying. All right, what's in here? Let's see. Oh, ah. oh, geez. Boss man, you there? Oh, I'm here. Get ready to go. I got your truck already warmed up. Skid is ready to load. Yeah, okay. We're working on that fire station today, right? That's right. It's turn and burn, big cat. Hey, next time when we bring the skid steer back, can I pull it with my GMC? Mm, I'll think about it. I will think about Sometime it. Sometimes we I'm, should I hook like... up a rope and then do like a tug of war. See whose truck is, is stronger. All right, guys, comment below. Who's going to win in a tug of war? So mine is a GMC 3500 and boss man's is a Ram or Dodge 3500 duly as well. So it's pretty evenly matched. Duramax versus Cummins. There we go. Perfect. Supplies are already there. I was a little worried they weren't going to come in this morning. Now Spencer, correct me if I'm wrong, but we aren't paying for any of this stuff, right? This is all by the town. Yep. So they need a new fire station into the mountains. They get a bunch of, you know, kind of forest fires during the summertime. So this is going to be right on the foothills. Well, boss man was saying I was going too slow. So he kicked me out of the forklift and look at what he's doing now. Think I got enough of these on here? Uh, you should have got all five, but yeah, don't drop them. All right, I'm pull out. Go, go, go. Oh, my truck. She's leaning. Boss man, it's getting a little wonky back here. What? Oh, my oh goodness. No. Move it or lose it, sister. Coming oh, through. Geez. Hey, boss man, I got an idea. Instead of using the skin steer and unload it, I'll just drive around like crazy without the straps on and it'll go flying off. Oh, yeah, I'll stay back here. Perfect. Pro skin steer operator, boss man. Let's see it, big cat. Here we go. Go like this and just start dragging back every little bit at a time. Well, concrete guys just left. It looks great, don't you think, boss man? It looks pretty good, nice and flat and smooth. Good foundation we can start building on. They dropped off some supplies. We got our supplies. I think it's time to put our heads down and get to work. All right, man, hit the lights. Let's see. I got it connected. All right. Hopefully these things work. I hope it doesn't shock us. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, yeah, we got hall lights. Everything's working. Wait, wait, we got to test out the siren. I know it's going to be annoying, so. Here, I'm doing garage ears. door. That works. Okay. Here, are you ready? Yep. Oh, what the heck okay, is that? Okay, that, that's the system starting up. Boss man, good work. I am, I'm tired. What time is it? It's late, man. I'm heading to bed. I'll see you tomorrow at the farm. Perfect. I'll text fire chief. Let him know we got it completed. Send him some pics. Well, boss man and I are driving down to the new fire station. And it just happens to be we're driving by the old one. All right, boss man's pulling in with a tanker. This is my rescue truck. So super good off-road in the brush, in the woods. You need something small, something agile. And then we do have some bigger vehicles as well. So get her back then, boss man. Here we go. He's Tanker getting... one is making it in the station. You're getting better, man. Thank you. I was never bad, though. Uh, I don't know. What I'm bringing down now is an old 80s style. Maybe it's the 70s. It, it got restored, and now it's a fire truck. It used to be an army truck. Five ton. Pretty cool. I'm thinking now, let's head back to the farm, because I want to get some grass seed in the ground. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The spot we didn't plant corn, yeah, let's get that to grass, and then maybe we'll expand that into the RV park later, too. Before we leave, I'll give you guys a quick tour of what we built. Obviously, three-car garage, or three, whatever, three ports, three garage doors, really cool. Bunch of space, lockers, uniforms. We got the fridge, that thing's already filled up. Water tank, file cabinet, you know, standard garage area space, and then we do like to play our chess. Then we got the stairs to the second level. Beautiful windows in here, conference room. They're gonna be building this out in like a command center where we can watch the fires, all that kind of stuff. So still some upgrades to do. People gotta bring in some computers, equipment, desk space up there. Place looks awesome. Jeez Where do you want this thing? Uh, in the field, man. There's nowhere else to park. It's too big. All right, I guess it's not an RV. Do you even know how to use this? Oh, no clue at all, man. That's why you're here. Wow, yeah. If anything breaks on this, don't ask me, man. Well. Okay, so neither of us know how to use it. That's a really good start, man. So, okay, I'm assuming I get lined up with the field. Yeah, get lined up with the field. And good thing is we don't have to plant that much. You probably didn't need that big of a, of a I guess it's not a planter, it's a seeder. So we're gonna be seeding grass here. Hey boss man, I know you're new to farming, but I think we're supposed to till it up before you get that seed in the ground. Well, let's try that out then. All right, hopefully I'm a little better than him at driving. There we go. Are you planting? It looks like we're officially planting because the seed levels are definitely going down. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, looks good. Who the heck is out in my yard here, huh? I was sleeping like a gosh dang it, boss man. I was sleeping like a baby. Hey, sleeping shut like that a off. baby. Shut that off. Come it's, on. Get, it's come morning, on. man. Come on. Get out of my way. What the heck is this? This is a lawnmower. 
and this is a lawn. Our grass grew, so I had to cut it. All right, I'm gonna mow. I love mowing, man. You're gonna mow? Okay, that makes right. it easy on me. I'll uh, watch you. I am pooped. That was, my back hurts, man. Thanks for the help. Where'd you get that thing? Where did I get it? Uh, the store. Well, here we are. These are my old stopping grounds. Back in high school, I went to the school right there. Ninth grade through, uh, through a senior in high school. And I used to win on this football field all the time. Score touchdowns, kick field goals. And now it's time for me to kick boss man's butt in a tug of war. Okay, you went to this high school? Yeah. Since when did you ever live here, man? Back in high school. Everybody in the comment section put below, is the GMC gonna win or the Dodge? Well, just say, you know, Spencer's gonna win and Boss Man's gonna lose. Pretty simple as that. Here we go, Boss Man, you ready? You're talking so much smack. Actually, what I'm are the ready. rules? First one to drag the opponent across the f So once I get Boss Man's truck past this line, I win. And if he gets my truck or, past that line, Or if wins. you hit the fence. If you're gonna hit destroy your truck, then stop. Okay, fair enough, I like it. Here we go, three, two, one. Go! Come on! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Yeah. Oh no! What the heck? See you later, no, buddy. No! 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 Oh. Okay, I'm not hitting the fence, dude. You had me at the start. Okay, okay. okay We're trying up. that again. Three, two, one, go! Come on! Come on! Come come on. on. No! It's Just jerky. It. There we go. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, now. I'm spinning! I'm spinning! Oh! 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 Come on! Oh man! Come on, I moved. Oh, there we go. It's like there my, we go. No, That's come on, transmission. No, no, man. My wheel is locked. Ah. There we go. They're locked. I got uh, pavement. I got I'm pavement. Done for. I'm done for. Once I hit the I hit track, it's like solid pavement, so it starts to grip. Okay, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm getting new tires. All right. Boss man is back. <laughs> and where did you get those? Man, the used car dealership came in clutch. They had the extra set of tires, and I took them. All right, man. Those are like mud grappling beasts. Okay, if you man. don't win, this is going to be embarrassing. Here we go, big cat. You call it. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, you had a oh, you had a head start by a mile. What's up? What's up? Dude, hey, you, you know said what? three, here, two, you, try one. Try pulling me. Let's see. What? Try, try pulling me right now. Okay, you're pulling? Yep. Let's see if I can fight back. You can't. All right, okay, restart. Okay, restart. Okay. okay. It just wasn't, wasn't a fair start. I see. I see. That was the biggest cheap shot. We can go back and replay, too. Nah, I don't think so. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, gotcha. <gasps> gotcha. No! Oh. Right, breaks, breaks, breaks. Okay, okay, okay. Try again, try one again. One more. This is the last one. You won the first one. I won the second one. Three, two, one, go. Come on, come on. No. Oh, done for, man. Well, boss man just told me he bought a set of golf carts. This is awesome. I've always, I haven't actually thought of it, but I love driving golf carts and it totally makes sense. Boss man's super smart. And how many did you get, boss man? You got like 10? Uh, okay, I got four of them, what? but we can always get more in the future. Why do we need 10 golf carts? We got a lot of customers coming in. We need to get them. Everybody gets their own golf cart. That's included. Okay, well, here, what about this? We can make some money off these, so we'll have, like, a rental program, and then they pay us more money if they want a golf cart. That would be good, yeah. Another 50 bucks a day. Wait, how are we going to hold these? Hmm. We should have brought good... Tadpole. What would Tadpole do? Tadpole would drop down the ramps. You could at least throw two on sideways, maybe three. Okay, well, what about this? I bought these, so you rent out a trailer. Here we go. Here's the trailer. This is my buddy's place over here, and he's always got this trailer here, and he actually, like, he's always like, hey, if you need it, just grab it. Let me know. I guess I should probably text him, and it matches my truck perfectly. Boss man, this isn't going to work. We're going to need some different ramps. Okay, here we go. Don't want to damage these. Okay, we're good. Last one there's a rotten egg. Race, race, race. Okay. Come on, See come on. Dust. Can I go inside this corner? Is a high speed pursuit right now. In between the tires and the building. Yes, I can. Go oh, for the but pit. You're maneuver. not winning. You're done for. Come on, come on, come on. Dang done it. for. Okay. You really beat me. Damaging the brand new golf cart. We're going to advertise them as bumper cars, too. That way we can charge a bit more. All right, man. Let's get these unloaded. I have an idea of where these can go. What in tarnation, boss man? Check this out. This is pretty oh, wait, slick. Wait, wait, wait. What? Ready? Bef before you before you get on or anything, you gotta choose what level you want to go to. Oh, that's pretty sweet, man. No, no, no. You you think that's it, right? Ha! <laughs> you, you would be mistaken. We got another level. Holy biscuits! And guess what? We got three sets of A, these B, C, one, two, three. That's pretty slick. Wait, so. What, you can fit Drive three in each one? Dude, we have room for like 20 golf carts. Well, you mentioned you want to get a lot of golf carts. Absolutely, so, man. 
this allows us to do that. All right, boss man, that's a good way to park too. Uh, um, how did this happen? I don't know. I'm on my way down, pick up some pallets of wood, because we're going to be building some shelves. There we go. The nicest thing about this place is they let you use a forklift for free. All right, we're loaded up, put the forklift back, throw some straps on. This is why I love my flatbed. So easy, load things on, doesn't need to be pretty. And then I just throw some straps on, got some nice D-rings, and we're, we're set to go. Boss man texted me. He said he's wondering where I'm at. I guess I'm taking longer than he thought, but he's going to be doing most of the building, so he wants to get working this morning. Here we go. Pedal to the metal. Let's see what the Duramax has got. I'm flooring it. It rolls a lot of coal. 70, 75. I'm speeded. No stop sign, no cop, no stop. Here we go. All right, man, open up. Okay, hold up, hold up. Here you go. What were you doing on your phone? You didn't see me pull in? Oh, I saw you pull in. I was scared. I was staying back. You came in pretty quick. I just got a message that one of our customers is going to stay a few nights, and he wants to rent a golf cart, so I'm going to go take care of that, all right? Okay. Oh, is, is that the person who renewed staying a bit longer? Yep. Yep. A few okay. more days. So we got $300 from that, and then I got to go deliver the golf cart. So that'll be another, I think, he, he wants that for two days, so... Another 200 bucks. Pretty good deal. 200? How much are you charging this guy? 100 bucks a day? Man, man, 50 a day. 50 a day. Well, Come I was on, thinking start off high, on. and if he said yes right away, so well, let's just keep okay. going higher. Okay, it's up to you, but if people start to not want those golf carts, then we got to lower that down. Absolutely. We're trying to find that equilibrium price right now, so we start high. Boss man, boss man, boss man, you outdid yourself again. Yes, sir. I was hoping I could build a second shelf, but instead I just got one giant one built. That so is We can always expand huge. out if we need. That is awesome. Yeah, and we still got space on the top. Not that we can reach it or anything, but we, we got space up there. Well, maybe one day we'll get like those nice telehandlers, you know, and then they'll go really high. Ooh, that would be nice. But all right, man, we have so much work to do. So let's head back to the actual field or I guess RV park because we got to get stuff prepared for this restaurant. All right. So my thought is we need like a centralized area at this park. I'm thinking, you know, as, as time goes on, we're going to expand out more and more what we have there. Start off with a restaurant, you know, add some seating out, outdoor, indoor, and then hopefully someday maybe a little pond or something. When are the workers going to get here? The construction workers. Well, we got to clear out some of the space before they can do anything. All right, boss man, follow me. We're going to pick up our corn heads. I think there's 16 row corn heads folding so we can head down the road with them. Put on your hazards, your flashers. Trying to make this tight turn, man. That's what I love about these combines. They're really good at turning for how big they are. Absolutely. Mine's got tracks. Boss man's just got the big wide tires in the front. Boss man, I forgot to tell you. Only mine is folding, so good luck going down the road. Wait, wait, wait. What? Yeah. Mine doesn't fold? No. Uh, there we're we go. We're just floor it, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're just using it Come for on. one year. So. Okay, you're free. Nice. Our first corn's going in the combine. Oh, you're missing a few rolls oh, already. Missing. Back her up, back her up, back her up. We cannot miss oh, any. Already? That's the number one rule, man. Okay. Oh, okay, you're okay. backing over them. It's okay. That's uh, some uh, flavor. Right, the old Mac Daddy is full of yellow gold, so let's go turn her in, see how much money we make. What do you think that's gonna sell for? Eighty thousand buckaroos. I'm thinking, uh, let's go seventy thousand. Here we go. We're pulling in. It's a tight squeeze in here. The train's going by actually right now. That's pretty cool. And swing wide. Everything's just straightened out real good, and we'll start unloading. There we go. The first. So we have, there's four sections to per trailer that we'll be doing and unloading here. Really nice trailer here, boss man got us. There we go. We unloaded the whole trailer. Now we gotta go rent a train. It sounds like it's a thousand bucks. So maybe it was actually worth it to go somewhere else and we'd have to pay for the train. But we'll go check that out. First time doing this. Obviously, first time farming. So we got to kind of figure out how this works. All right, let's see here. You come here and you rent a train. All right, now the train is on its way. It's going to pick up our grain. It'll come out of this lake here. All the grain's being stored right now. There's the cart that's going to take the grain. All right, then here's our corn, 75,000 liters. Hit that and it's starting to fill up. There we go. There's the corn filling up. I better get out of here before I drown. Don't want to get stuck in this corn. That's awesome. All right. And we got $37,400 divided three ways. I got 12,466 along with Steve and Bossman. Even though Steve isn't working today, we still on the land three ways. We're just getting back to the farm. Harvest is going good. Bossman knocked out so much of the field. I don't think we have much left. Wait, what the heck is that? Oh, that's the restaurant. Boss man, radio in. I'm just getting back. I like the log cabin kind of feel. It's very homey. Yeah, we got our tables out here. There's obviously indoor Danny as well. These 
lights will kick in automatically, but obviously we also can manually control them if we do choose. Perfect. We're going to start making money off this restaurant now. Obviously, we're making money off the cornfield. As time goes on, the RV park is going to keep growing. So our plan is like a small lake slash pond. That's going to bring in a lot of people. They can do fishing, you know, right off their back door when they get out of the RV. Lots going on, boss man. Let's finish up this corn. All right, I'm following boss man. He loaded up the grain cart. And what we're doing now is we're heading to the feed store. So the prices are pretty close here. It looks a little small. Yeah, you're going to drive in there and hopefully be able to unload your all grain to it. Or boss man, what we're going to do is I'll pull under, unload my semi, and then you can reload my semi, and then I'll pull under again. Yeah, probably have to do that. I'll try sticking my auger through the side there, but yeah. you go in first. There we go. It's working. I'll wait for you to go there. There you go. You're almost done. Good work. All right. That was 16 and a half grand. Okay, 16 and a half grand. Write that down, and then I'll unload mine. We'll add it together. Here she goes. I wish we could dump all these at the same time. That's right. This is a lot. I should have swung a bit wider, too. You're going to need to just floor it. All right. Well, that was 8 thousand one hundred and fifty bucks right there uh oh boss man spinning this isn't good guys yeah these is way too steep and our mac doesn't have that much horsepower all right man uh try and just pump the brakes and then slip the clutch there you go yeah you're gonna have to work it a bit here oh geez shifting through these gears okay i think we're in the clear yep you should be good to unload so we made fifty thousand dollars off that whole truckload a little less than the other place but still good so each of us are gonna take home sixteen thousand five hundred dollars just about i'm thinking i'm gonna store the lawnmowers in here we got some extra space for sure unless we buy a bunch more golf carts i think we'll be fine and then boss man bought this euro turn which is awesome because that little blue ride on mower i don't even know what brand it is it's like some knockoff chinese brand but this works pretty good somebody's pulling oh there's steve he's pulling in he's back from vacation how's it going good man you look really tan how was florida Oh, it was so much fun. I, I went to go wrestle some alligators, and that was just such a good time. Wrestle alligators? That's crazy. Yeah, it was just good practice for the farm, you know? I guess, yeah. If a pig gets loose or something, you can take them down. Exactly. Jump in the tadpole, boys. It only has two seats. <laughs> uh, you could squeeze in the middle. Okay? There is no seat, but I bet you could squeeze. All right, I'll just follow you guys. You know where we're going. Why does this building look so familiar? Uh, I don't know. Jump out, look at it. So, remember that shop you used to have? That one that you use all that illegal money anyways we won't get in all that again but this is the exact same blueprints and i accidentally got it built instead of my house which means i'm giving it to you for your tow business no way yes sir so anything you got to use this for it that is obviously legal you can feel free to use it oh my god thank you so much i really appreciate that yeah no problem and then spencer i think you had a idea too if i'm not mistaken yeah let's open up this garage door since boss man gave you this i was thinking i could help out and you got the total business you're getting it back up on the feet i know you're just leasing that building but the owner of that building is selling it and the surrounding land so i thought you just listed it for sale when you were gone i thought you know i could buy that and then we could split your tow business in half we could turn a lot of this into parking and then now that you have the building this whole corner lot would be would be yours that sounds like a great plan 50-50, we'll split the tow business then, okay? Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's shake on it. Yep, I just got to write this check by the land and we'll be good to go. All right, I just sent the owner 75 grand. Let's rip this for sale sign out here and get to work. Good job, guys. You guys are going to get this business looking good. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys get done. And boss man, what you get out of the deal is if you ever need a car towed, Steve will do it for free. Well, I hope so. I just gave him quite a bit of this land plus that whole structure. Just hit me up anytime. All right. Let's get the skin studio down here, chainsaws. We're going to clear some trees. Let's get the call the concrete guys, build out the parking lot, and let's get to work. Okay, it's going to be another busy day. Load up the skid steer, got the sump grinder, pallet forks on there just in case we need those to move anything around. And most of the stuff, I think we're going to chainsaw down and then, yeah, take out the stump. And concrete guys are going to be here in an hour, so we got to get there and get clearing. When Boss and I had that tug of war, he went to go get new tires, if you remember. Well, he also stomped at the engine shop, and they did a tune on his engine, so he has more power. Steve, just drive that down, man. I don't got no more room. My name's not Steve. Oh, I thought you were Steve. Sorry, sorry, no, Boss, Steve's man. on the other lawnmower oh you're taking both okay boss man get buster out of the road uh, okay 
Come on, Buster. Oh, he's running away from me, Spencer. Just give him a treat. He'll come back. All right, Steve, you're almost there. Keep going. That zero turn's pretty quick. All right, we made it. Let's unload the skid steer. Those guys should be right behind me in the lawnmowers, which is hilarious. They're just going to drive them down the road. All right, boys. Yeah, I'm thinking just raise those decks up and, uh, yeah, mow over the bushes. Just send it. Here we go. Raise them up. If you got them too low, sometimes they can plug up, especially on the rider mower. Can, okay, the zero turn's a beast. Oh, Jeez. Well, like, why am I even driving this when he can just do that? Well, it helps out. Here we go. Knocking down the first one. Timber, watch out, Steve. Hopefully it goes the way I want it to. Please don't hit the building or anything else. All right, it's coming down. This is a big one. There we go. Good landing. Nothing hit any windows. We'll start taking these branches out. These trees, these are big work trees. Oh, oh. Uh oh Is that your truck? No, is that's that my your truck? truck. Why did you drive my truck here? Well, it's already hooked up to the trailer. It's okay. I didn't hit it. Yeah, I got close, did. though. No, I see a couple of scratches. No, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It will just buff right out. Now my truck is better than yours. All right, I got that one all chopped up and clean. We aren't taking out all of them. We're going to leave some. Hey, there's some deer back here. Yeah, we're going to leave some back here. That way the deer can hang out and stuff, like along this fence line. Don't know if we're going to need all this land right now, maybe in the future. But for sure, we'll widen out the shop area. Bring out the concrete, kind of like Steve's doing there. Like this tree, way too close to the building. I don't know why Bossman didn't take it down when he was getting it built. There we go, Timber. Watch out, Steve. Come down on top of you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Good run, man. I almost got you. Bossman, I just called in a tree care company. They're going to come with a grinder, get all this grinded up. Sounds good. All right, boys, we're making good work. Boxman, quit standing around on your phone. Get back to work. Man, my mom was texting me. Chill out. Oh, really? Okay, sorry. Now, tell... She tell, says hi, by the tell way. Tell Mama Bossman. Uh, sorry about that. Mama Bossman? She's a woman. That's your name. Then you put Mama in front. That's inferring your mother. Mm, anyway, I see, I'm going to jump on the stump grinder and get these stumps grinded. The place looks good. Concrete guys are going to be here any minute, so I need to keep moving. Here we go. This is a big old stump. This is, this is pretty crazy. We'll see how the stump grinder does. There we go. It's grinding side to side. Oh, yeah. She's sharpened her teeth on this baby. She cuts like butter. All right. Looks good. I think I got 10 left. Well, the place turned out great. We decided not concrete. Way too expensive. Lost man's finishing it, spreading the rest of the gravel. It turned out amazing. There we go. That's kind of what it looks like. Big picture. Oh, the truck's coming down. Oh, is that Steve? Steve's pulling in. Looks like he got himself a new tow truck. Do you guys like the new ride? Yeah, that's sweet, man. Yeah, Holy just... smokes. Yeah. Nice whip, man. I like this thing. Yeah, I just bought it myself. I just thought I would show myself some self-love. Oh, yeah, that's always important. Good morning. Boss Man and I are on our way down to pick up some excavators because today is the day we're going to be building a lake at the RV park. So we got to rent some excavators. I rented this semi, this low boy trailer, super nice trailer, 50 ton, triple axle from a neighbor. And I also rented that low boy trailer. We're using our Mac semi. So that costs $1,000 to rent for the day. And then let's see what these excavators are. We're going to probably rent them for about a week. And here we we are pulling in turn on the jake brake yes sir this is my neighbor semi it's a 650 horsepower cat engine this thing is a beast it's got jake brake cruise control it's it's super nice and then the low boy is crazy nice too there we go we're getting detached here boss man how's it driving it's driving pretty good i think you have a lot more power than i do though yeah we'll see we gotta decide so we have a really heavy strong excavator 750 volvo i think we might be renting and then we're doing a long reach too so the long reach won't weigh that much but this trailer will be perfect for it and we'll put out the extension throw some boards on it we got nice chains here and binders so this trailer would be perfect for the long reach but I don't think boss we might have to honestly flip flop trailers we'll see we'll see so this is a new heavy equipment rental place that we're going to be renting from these are the two machines we told them to reserve for us this is a 750 volvo big big excavator very strong in case we run into any rock that's gonna be nice then we have a 250 case long reach really wide ditching bucket so this will be like our finisher reaching out getting it really deep so boss man jump in one of these and start loading it up together they're gonna cost three grand to rent for the week so not cheap but i thought it was a pretty good deal especially this excavator is crazy big very expensive it's kind of cool how they keep them indoors too and we're gonna put some extension boards on pull those out slap the board on and now we got more room because this 750 sits way wider than the case so drop her down again boss man we'll get it loaded up all right sounds good all right, we're getting turned around here. Going to back it on, then we'll swing around. Going to throw some flags on the back of this thing. All right, yeah, oversized load. Put that up. Perfect. Yeah, we need our markers. We have to have flags. And then, be yeah, because we put on these extensions, we're a lot wider, a lot heavier. Now we got to put the oversized load on. Tell me when I'm good, big cat. 
I uh, should be good there. Oh, we got deer running. Be careful. Oh, jeez. They'll move out of the way. Just honk your horn. They're going crazy. Get out of here, boys. All right, swing wide again. We're going to be taking out some bushes. All right. This is why I got that oversized load tag on there. And four. This is pretty cool, man. I've never hauled anything this heavy. Just some grain to the elevator. All right, we're pulling in. This is going to be an interesting pull. Actually, we got to start swinging pretty wide here. I'm going to make like a three-point turn, get a 90 degree with my trailer and semi. Crank it, crank it, crank it. Boss man, you're probably not going to have to go as extreme as I am because my trailer's way bigger, but something like this you might have to do, man. Uh, boss man, I just got a text. It's from What's Steve. Up? He's working a fire shift and he's got an emergency tow job he needs to do. I got to run off and do that. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah, go do it. I'll Dang be it. here. I wanted to get started excavating. Boss man, why don't you get these unloaded and by the time I'm back, we should be ready to go. Okay. Sounds good. All right, we're pulling in. Steve said to take his new truck. The flatbed is what's going to work good for this job. Sounds like there's a car that like half flipped over. He just sent me another updated text and it must be on city property or something. So let's jump in the Peterbilt and let's head down there. See what's going on. The address is right here. Yep. Look at that. What in tarnation? That is a six wheel drive vehicle. That is crazy. I know it's not my job and it's the police's job, but I kind of want to figure out the backstory of this. We're gonna have to take the road up for now. This honestly, I just need to get it back on its wheels. Hopefully it doesn't flip, flip to its roof. Let's see here. How did this happen? It looks like they drove up on the rock here and once they got there, obviously they tipped over and now they're resting against a tree. So hopefully I'm gonna pull them down the hill. Hopefully they don't flip onto the roof anymore. Here we go, I got the cable attached. We're gonna go ahead and winch it and see what happens here. Come on, do not flip over to the roof. Hopefully it's center of gravity is on the wheels. Uh-oh, we're wait there we go, there we go. We might need to release the rope a little bit and drive forward, give us some more room. All right, so what I did now is the cable and the winch are totally released. So when I pull out here, there should be no, you know, it shouldn't be taunt or anything or pull it. And what's really nice is then we can come over here, reposition, start winching again, and then it should flip over. If it doesn't, there's already a lot of damage done to it, so it's not too big a deal. Here we go, start winching. Nice, there we go. I just, I hit the two speed button and it flipped right over. All right, now let's see if we can winch it, and I might jump in there and try and turn the tires. Should start sliding, but it, yeah, there we go. This is a very interesting vehicle. It actually has its own winch, and we'll finish winching it up here. I'll jump in, turn the wheels. All right, throw some straps on, and we'll get it flattened out and head down the road. All right, we're good to go. Just texted Steve. He sent me over 300 bucks, so it was a $600 job just because the extremeness of it in the city. It was on city ground, so pretty good deal. It looks like boss man's work, and I see an excavator going up and down, big piles of dirt. Boss man, you're getting good with that thing. Jeez, what a beast. Thank you. Yeah, man, check this place out. So here's my thought. I, I know we kind of had a bit of a different idea. We get a giant, like, you know, pond around here, more like a lake. Okay. And then we have a bridge that goes to the restaurant. Like, who doesn't want Very to go cool. to a restaurant if there's a bridge to get there? And you it's could just, say you're eating on a restaurant in an, on an island in Wyoming. Literally. The, the, where's another island? Like, the next one's so far away. Yeah. So this will be great. I'm trying to really, you know, preserve, like, the foundation of the restaurant. I don't want it to cave in, so yeah. we can't get too, too close. Absolutely. But. Looks like groundwater's filling in, too. This is very interesting. What would be interesting is, you know, we come back in a few hours, and this thing, you know, we're, we... We, need, we notice a rise in the water level and we don't have to wait for rain. But I was kind of thinking when looking at this, it reminds me, put some alligators in here, build a bridge, and then if people don't tip, oopsie, the bridge collapsed. No, I'm joking. I, I'm just joking. What? But it reminded no, me of a moat around the castle. Do that. Let's get working. I'll jump in the long reach. Looks like it's time for the long reach to do some work. All right. This is pretty crazy, boss, man. At any point, if I hit my sick too far, I could like easily reach the restaurant and destroy it. Don't want to do that. Curl a big old bucket. I got a ditching bucket on, which is totally fine. This ground is really soft and easy. I don't need like teeth or anything. This holds quite a bit more. So there we go. Looks good. Boss man's getting big heaves and I'm kind of just figuring things out here. And I think, yep, that's my last scoop of dirt there. All right, let's back it out. Water is filling in too much. I don't know what I'm doing and I think we got it pretty good. Some, some things we'll always keep improving on if things erode away or anything, but that looks amazing. All right, boss man, the water is pouring in from the sides. The ground is pretty wet. We did have a lot of rain this year. Yeah, and it's coming in as a pretty good color too. I was expecting this to be completely dirty. Yeah, this looks amazing. But while I was doing that, boss man knocked out the bridge. This is great. 
Yeah, it should get the job done. I wish it, you know, looked a little bit nicer, but we'll try cleaning this thing up, getting this looking as good as possible. Yeah, but at least you can, you know, pull, you can back in like a pickup truck with food supplies and stuff. You don't have to walk it across like a bridge. So that'll be nice. A lot of people, and we want to make it really safe. I have this thought, right? What if we have some extra seating here? Because I expect us to get lots of business. Obviously, we do have this covered seating here, and then obviously people can eat inside. However, if we have something here right by the water, you could sit down. Yeah, I think it, a lot of people would love that on like a nice day. We got the grass seeded, soil's starting to stabilize a little bit, and water keeps rising. So hopefully in a couple days here, it's going to be up, you know, where it's going to stabilize. We have an overflow for when we get a bunch of rain. That'll flow down to the river. And boss man, you did a good job back here. Yeah, we still got more work to do, but... Yeah, it's definitely getting there. I don't know about these tents. I thought it'd be cool to get these things, and we just had them laying around, but I don't know. They kind of look weird. Yeah, a little bit. I like the, the kind of like pink and purple color there, but yeah, let's work on the fence. We can deal with that later. All right, let's get this thing installed. Here we go. Here's a tour of our restaurant. Bossman and I think we got the finishing touches for the day. First things first, I put these lines out front. Looks awesome. Kind of makes it look a little fancier, more luxury. Those were not too cheap. Boss man paid for them. Here's the bridge coming across. And hopefully here soon in a couple days, the water is up. And then first thing you do, so we kind of blocked everything off so people can't like accidentally fall into the water if they don't want to. You walk up the stairs. You'll be greeted by a hostess. They'll kind of get you your seat, figure out what party size you have. That's boss man's idea. We'll get to that in a second. And then this is kind of the VIP outdoor seating. You got to pay a little extra for that. All right, boss man, what the heck is this? Well, we got a little kid's area. I have a tree house built, a fake tree. Now, only thing is there's technically nothing stopping a kid from swinging right into the water because this fence is not going to be enough. First but, off, hey, that branch that you attach it to, that does not seem strong enough. I, it's it's okay. These are It's for kids. We need to call the DNR. We need to get the lake stocked with fish. And do we call it a lake? I, uh, lake, pond. We're, we're going to. It's going to help with marketing, sell a restaurant. A pond, what sounds better? A lake or a pond? Oh, a lake, for okay. sure. We're calling it a lake then. Lakefront uh, RV park, right? How about, yeah, we need to figure out those names. Comment below, guys, what we should name all this stuff. We don't really have names, uh, but once we start, this restaurant gets going, it's going to get really popular, so good name helps. Well, good morning, guys. We're getting to work here. Buster, get out of the ditch. Buster, how many times I got to tell you that, man? You don't own the place. You got to be careful. There's traffic. All right, the boys are already getting to work. I got them some breakfast sandwiches, some breakfast food, because I know they're hungry, and they already started the equipment, getting everything warm. Hey, boss, man. Steve, I got you guys breakfast sandwiches. Eat up. Ah, thank you, thank you. Do I yeah, owe you money for this, or are you paying it? Yours is just the uh, egg and bread, no no meat, because I know you're vegetarian. Steve, double sausage. What? There you go, eat up, I big boy. I literally was telling you about that pizza the other day, how I want my meat. Well, two people pulled in this morning. We got $1,000 for them, 500 each, and they're staying for a while, it sounds like. And it also sounds like a construction project is starting up. So they're part of the crew of that construction. Might have some more coming in as well. Okay, that sounds interesting. But speaking of construction, yeah. what's going on today? Tell, tell me the details. Do you guys remember when Boss Man first bought this field? It was alfalfa. Then we planted corn. Then he pretty much built this in one day because he's amazing with wood. And I think the plan is we're going to keep building some houses and kind of turn them into Airbnb, vacation rentals, stuff like that, because people love going in the mountains. And if they can spend 200 bucks a night, sleep here, drive 20 minutes to the mountains, I think it would be perfect, boys. So let's get building. All right, so we should we build this next house? Thinking, like, right beside this one? Well, how close do you want some neighbors? And they might not be, you know, they're going to be vacation people, so they're going to be mm. maybe a little more annoying. Okay, so maybe a little bit further away than right beside. Yeah. It can be a distance. That's what I was kind of thinking. And honestly, your house, like, I've taken a bunch of photos of it. I'll put it online. Like, your house is what? really good. I, I live in here, though. You can't no. just have... Where am I supposed to be? No, you could still live there. I'm saying if we built a couple more, I think those would sell really good. Don't you think, Steve? Oh, 100%. All right. Well, let's get building. I have some blueprints, some plans. Bossman, did you order the materials? Yeah, they're ordered. Why am I paying for this? No, I'm paying what for half. I pay for it? Oh, you are. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here, let me get that receipt. All right. So, yeah, yours portion's 20,000, man. All right. 20 grand. Yours is 20. All right. Address is on it. I'm going to head down, pick up those materials. You guys get doing dirt work, dig out the footing so we have foundation, and then we'll start building. And we made it. I've been hauling down here. 
pretty quick, not gonna lie. Thank goodness we didn't see any cops. Let's pull in. It sounds like these guys get it all loaded up. So these guys do a bunch of building materials for contractors and stuff like that. It's really nice. You rent this trailer for the day. Well, you kind of pay for it in the building materials. Hook up your semi, go, and then I bring it back and we're good. All right, we're attached, pull out, shut the doors. Everything's good. All right, boys, radio in. Calvary has arrived, I'm here. Hello, Spencer. Got all the supplies? Yes, sir. Opening up the back. You'll see in, on the inside, man. All right, good work, Steve. Getting them unloaded. These are heavy. All right, guys, keep moving them over. And let me check up on your dirt work. Uh, boss man, what is this? So, like, I had a few miss scoops. This looks like three asteroids hit the Earth. Okay, you don't have to go that far, man. I tried, you know, I it, you, I was limited on time. You were really quick. I wanted to impress you. Clearly, wait, I wait, missed whoa, the mark. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What's on your head? What? A hat. Maybe that's why you're screwing all this up. Take that off. Guys, look at how bad Garrett dug this hole. It's supposed to be a footing rectangle. Steve, Steve. Oh, no. Boss man, oh. Steve's down. Hey. Steve, what are you doing, man? Um, man? Boys, I need some assistance. We own this thing. Why are you destroying yeah, it? Revert. Holy biscuits. That thing's Wait, stickier than a this spider. This actually works. Keep going. Keep going, man. Go, Don't go, stop. Don't go. stop. Let's go. Steve. I didn't even need your help. You guys didn't help at all. All right. Inspect nice. the skids here. Did he bend anything? Break it? I think you're good. No, I, I think it's all good. At boss least you aren't wearing why a purple you, hat. Boss man, why would you dig those holes there? I didn't see them. You literally were helping. You just forget just the last like 20 minutes of your life? I have short-term memory loss. Maybe I do forget. You don't know okay. who I am. Okay. Spencer, you like my hat? No. You should go back in that hole and then you can maybe sprinkle some dirt on him. Anyway. Ah. All right. Get in that excavator. Let's dig these footings, boys. Let's get to work. Well, boss man's working on that and Steve, I'm going to go ahead and bring back the long reach because we really don't need it. We don't have use for it anymore. We're using the other excavator to dig the foundation before we get that attack. Oh, somebody's here. Somebody's pulling in with a camper. Howdy, man. Oh, hold up. Hold up. How long are you staying for? And here is a form to fill out yep just liability form liability release so go ahead okay you're staying 10 nights all right nice man oh you're part of the crew okay very cool 10 nights will be a thousand dollars even for you so you got water with that electricity and sewer hookups so you're all taken care of let me know if you need anything numbers on there and go ahead take this next spot to that black rv thanks man all right let's get loaded up on here so what i do is i back on and then i do a 180 real quick spin around we should be good and loaded by the way sir here's 20 dollars off for a meal at a restaurant we just built this so a special promotion going on that's a one-time deal there forgot to tell him about a restaurant so i gave him a promotion there and he's getting flipped around all right we're all loaded up chained down should be good to roll but it looks like i'm back just in time boss man you finished this up yeah it's just about done want to do a few final touches but here it is you already planted some flowers i think those are some final touches this looks awesome yeah, man. So check it out. We have a garage over here. I decided to throw in some tools and stuff to be nice for whoever ends up yeah. staying here, renting it out. Very smart. And then we have obviously our table, this is the local news, a little yep. kitchen. Upstairs is nice. I like the stairs. Very simple. See through like guardrails. That's awesome. There's this, a few skylights up here. There's a little room with a couch, but it becomes a bed. And then this is just kind of like a office area. Nothing too special. All right, boss man, chest bump. Good work. Here we go. Oh, somebody's pulling in. That's a nice setup, right? Holy cow, that's a nice setup. Oh, he's got a 3,500 Dodge Ram Cummins. Howdy, sir. Jeez, you tinted those windows, man. Don't let the popo see you. Go ahead, jump out. I got some things to sign for you. There you go. That's just liability release. How many nights are you staying, man? Okay, you're, you're, you're trying to book a month. Okay, yeah. And you're looking for a discount? Typically, we charge $100 a night. Kind of keep it simple. But since you're staying a month, we'll split it down the middle. We'll do, uh, we'll do $2,000. So you're getting 1000 off there. Well, I just got off the phone with somebody very important, and we are going to be building a restaurant, and it's specifically like a bre breakfast restaurant. Boss man, good news. You're spending some money today. Okay, sounds like a normal day. What's up here? Let me, you get let me a new get PC? This is thing. awesome. I did, man. New PC. Got a MacBook monitor. Very nice. But, boss man, I just got off somebody high up in a corporate office, and we are going to be building a restaurant. Do you want to know what it is? Save the surprise. Save the surprise for me till, till later. Okay. But speaking of money, it's time for you to be making some money here. I, I actually hit him with the golf cart because I thought you'd maybe give me some money and I could put it on my golf cart, take it to my RV. Okay. Well, I do owe you some money for quite a few things. So yeah, we have the fire department. We have the restaurant that we have here at the land. So money time. First off, here is a check from the fire department for $1,000. Perfect. Yep. We put some hours in there. 
Yeah, not not too many, but you know, a thousand's a thousand. And then we also got ooh, okay. So the restaurant, the Lakeview restaurant. Yes. That made five thousand for you, so there you go. Oh, geez, that was pretty good. We haven't even been open that long. I know it is man. People seem to really be liking it. What's next? Uh, we got, oh, the Airbnb first rental. Oh, so yep. here's 1,500. Nice. That's pretty good, man. Is that it? That That's all the money for you. That, hey, that's, you sure? that's pretty good. No, it's very good. The restaurant did way better than I thought. But maybe, you know, maybe the restaurant dies down. Everybody wants to try it once. And if we don't, you know, give them good food, a good experience, they aren't coming back. That is true, but we should probably get on the move, man, because I'm assuming this is going to be a full day project. Yeah, absolutely. All right, boss, man, they got it all packaged in a shipping container. That's nice. Do you think I'm going to be able to pull this thing? Yeah, yeah, you should. It's going to be heavy, but that's why you got a trailer and a super heavy duty truck. So um, one issue, how do we get it up on here? Well, remember, they got a forklift, but yeah, these things are heavy duty and it looks like the, we should be able to get the forklift to work. I hope so. All right, just this is watch and learn, be a mister. True challenge. All right, I'm thinking you'll probably steer me in here. I'll lift it up in the air. Are you sure you're going to be able to lift this thing? We'll see. We'll see. It is. Go look inside. Open up those doors. Look inside. See see if like the weight's thrown off. Is uh, it good? It's pretty balanced. Yeah, okay. you should be good. There you go. You slide right into those pockets and lift, lift, lift. Curl, curl. Oh, jeez. All right. I'll be back with our skid steer. Here, bring your girlfriend over. Have her stand on the back. Man, she's not that heavy. She's pretty heavy. She's just a little bit overweight. That's why Nothing the suspension on the right side of your truck is leaning. Okay, I'll be back with the skid steer. <laughs> All right. Here's the situation. We got our skid steer over here. Our boss man backed up the trailer really weirdly, but we got him backed up. And then we're going to lift up together. We're underneath it and then back the trailer underneath. Let me know if you think this is going to work. I don't. Boss man, what do you think? This is, um, well, we're definitely not following any kind of safety guidelines, but I think we'll get this on there one way or another. Yeah, boss man's underneath there. I, I think I am too still. Here we go. We're going to lift. Three. Okay. At the same time. Two, one. Nice and slow. Coming up. Coming up. Pick up your side just a bit. I'll slow down mine. Okay, here we go. And I think, all right, a little more on yours. I'm stopping. All right, stop. Oh, I'm starting to lean. All right, lower it. Just back down a bit and drive forward just a hair. Are you going to do the honors? I think now, yes, because I'm better at backing up. Still not good, but better. I am. I am pretty good. All right, let's see what you can do. This is a true test. Now, I forgot my tape measure, which we're going to need that today when we build this thing. But I, So I forgot my tape measure, and I don't know if this is going to fit inside the wheel wells, man. Well, it might just have to sit on top of them. Hopefully they're strong. Yeah, I don't think they are that strong. This thing weighs like 10,000 pounds. All right, let me jump out real quick. May okay, I don't think it's perfect. I got to get it perfect. Dude, your truck is so zippy. It's like a race car. I know. I upgraded the engine. I had to beat you with that full tug of war situation. The things people do, guys, to cheat and win. All right, boss man, that's the best I could do. Let's drop her down. All right. Again, nice and even at the same time. All right. Keep keep coming down. Keep, oh, boss oh, man, slip it. He's leaning. In. Boss man. Okay. I'm coming down. Yeah, you know what? Just it, drop it. it. All right, you pull out. You pull out. I'm trying. No, backwards, oh, not forward, man. Okay, come on. Forks are stuck. They're stuck? No. All right, I, I'm out. I'm out. No issues. I, I'm getting there. It, it's slowly getting out. Here, I'll try and hold it. There, it's caught on the fender. Oh, nice. All right, man, just leave Skitsu here. Forklift. We need to get start going. This is taking too long. All right, she's pulling good. Uh, good. Swing wide, would man. Would be a bit of a stretch. Yeah, I did not see that fire hydrant. Good would be a bit of a stretch. Uh, I'd say decent is probably a more accurate term to use. Boss man and I bought this land for 10000 an acre. We bought one acre, so 5000 and 5000 now we're going to spend a lot of money building it, but then it should make some good money too. I have an idea. This thing is hydraulic after all. That's right. All right. Lift her up. There we go. And gravity. Can you do the rest? Reverse and then it throw it into drive. There you go. Do that. Oh, there you go. It got off. Hopefully everything in this okay. All right. Let me open this up and we're going to start working. Let's go. Behind this red truck is, the, is what we built. Boss man, move that truck. To build it, it costs 50 grand. So Bossman and I split that down the middle. And now we got a DQ. We need to get some staff in here, Bossman. And I think I know the guy for the job. Did you say DQ? Did I? Oh, I'm so used to having a Dairy Queen. It's I gotta call it DD now. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts, man. All right, my bad. But guess who I'm thinking of to run this place, be the general manager. I'm gonna assume it's not Steve. I'm no. also gonna assume it's not me. 
So that leaves, mm, let me, th oh, Jeremiah. I think we're gonna have Jeremiah run it. He's super good managing people, really, really good worker, and he always said he loves coffee and donuts. So I think we're gonna get him in here. Hopefully open up tomorrow. We got all the processes, machines in here. People can come through the main gate right here, main doors, come around. We have nice, more like private lounge, sip on a coffee, talk with a friend, sit out here, eat a meal, you know, be on your phone, computer, stuff like that. I think it looks great, boss man. Let's make some coffee and donuts. We just had a truck drop off another Lizard Logistics shipping container and this time it's filled with ingredients to make some coffee hot chocolate and, and donuts we're missing one ingredient man which one we're missing the coffee beans. oh they didn't i come? have an idea i have an idea man they they were way too expensive i have an idea of how we can save some money we're heading back to the farm come with me boss man what's the plan where are we putting this greenhouse all right so we can literally put it wherever obviously probably want it near our farms I'm thinking, you know, leave this field untouched. Maybe okay. maybe right over here by the properties we built. Maybe right next to your house. So then you can just wake up, work on it, and everything's ready to go. And I don't have to do anything. Well, good work, boss, man. You're really good at building things. But can you actually grow stuff? What? How does this work? Uh, that's a good question. I have no clue. I'm assuming I just put some seeds in, add some water, and then I guess it's good to go. I just got to wait it out. Okay. Well, tell me what I need to go pick up at the store and I'll bring it down. Uh-oh. The trailer, there's a lot of weight back there. It's getting kind of slopped around. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. I think I got it under control now. You just got to be, it's like driving a boat. You got to go slow, no sudden turns. And look at that. We already got some coffee beans made. Boss man packages them up and put his little Dunkin' Donuts sticker on there. Let's get them loaded in my truck. Take it down to the store. Here we go. Let's unload the beans. One pallet's already gone. It's drinking it up pretty quick. There's the other one. All right. Let's get those coffee machines running. And we made some donuts. Nice. Really nice packaging. I'm going to call Jeremiah real quick and kind of walk him around the building. Get him down here and see if he wants to work. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Get familiarized with stuff. You're, you're down. You're happy to do it yeah you got some time on your hand okay perfect yeah so these are the registers everything's automated now and we only take yep perfect you already know how to run that nice just like the gas station today is the day it is 7 a.m in the grand opening of my dunkin donuts opens in an hour i got a few pallets of coffee beans because it sounds like we needed extra we are making so many donuts so much coffee and so much hot chocolate for people to come there I'm a little surprised we don't have a line foreman yet, but it sounds like in about 30 minutes, that's typically what happens at a grand opening. People start lining up. So this is going to be pretty cool. Let's bring these inside and we'll finish out making the rest of our coffee. Good morning, Jeremiah. He has been here all night with our code manager, Stephanie over there. She's been working really hard and they have gotten everything made. Look at all this extra donuts we have made, hot chocolate and crates. The plan is if you buy a dozen, you get another six off. So we're our goal is to sell out everything. And so we are, are overproducing and I am done sweeping. Oh, my back hurts. That took a while, but everything's ready to go. Oh, Jeremiah, there's a big line outside. Okay, let me look, let me look. Oh my goodness. Hi everybody. Welcome to the grand opening of Dunkin' Donuts. Thanks for coming. My name's Spencer. I'm the owner here. Jeremiah is the manager. Just give us five more minutes and we'll be open. Thank you guys for waiting. Oh no, I'm getting a call. Jeremiah, this isn't good. This is the fire station. Hello, this is Spencer. Spencer, it's Bossman. We need you at the fire station right away. All hands on deck. Right now? On duty, off duty. There was a huge accident and they need every single unit from a bunch of different stations. This doesn't look good, guys. The owner is peeling out of the restaurant a few minutes before opening. The nice thing is Dunkin' Donuts isn't too far. Yo, move out of the way, move out of the way. Oh, Steve, he just went in the ditch. The fire station's right here. Steve, you missed the fire station. You were too worried about getting around me. All right, boys, I'm here. Looks like they got the ladder truck. Jeez, we, okay, Steve, first things first, clear that crowd. I'm going to get the jaws of life going and we got to get that no, guy Spencer, out of there. Spencer, you got to get up this ladder, get an aerial viewpoint. I, I need to know the whole scene. Tell me the bigger picture. All right, give me a second. You new to this job? No, kind of, maybe. Uh-oh, guys, I didn't realize this. Maybe somebody down there saying it. There's a D10 cat dozer above us. Looks like it's about to cave over. That's not good. Oh, geez. Okay, we need to get some kind of supports on there. Okay. I'm, get the cribbing up there. I'm coming down. So I talked to the guy, the fire captain. He was up there, and he said what happened is erosion. Uh, they got a big rain. They had equipment parked next to the cliff, and it started to cave over. And then foreman's truck, the ca construction foreman's truck was down here. Let's go ahead and get him out. Oh, is this a Ford Raptor? Yeah, it's a Ford Raptor. All right, he's oh, trapped in there. We got to get him out, man. 
All right, man, my name is Spencer, and this is Garrett. We're gonna get you out of here, okay? Just work with us, keep breathing. I know you're pinched underneath there. We're gonna get this door open for you. All right, boss man, jaws of life, get that door open. It's all bent up. Yeah, I'm gonna try getting this one open. It seems like it's gonna be a bit easier. Okay, you think passenger? I'll try that one too. Yep. We're gonna have to get both. It's gonna. Oh, okay. There, there we, we go. go. You there got it. Go. All right, man. Go yeah, ahead. That one's open. If your legs are free, Wait, squeeze it... over here. No, no. His legs are squished, man. Okay. Those things aren't moving. All right. I'm going to work. Get your seatbelt off. I'm going to see if I can help you. Oh, I got the door open. All right, man. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Come out. We're going to we're gonna try and squeeze you out here. Go ahead. Let's get, get you in the ambulance. Yep. Just put your arm around me. We'll help you. There goes the ambulance. We got him in there. He's secure. Sounds like he broke at least one leg, maybe two. Obviously, they got to check him over. Spencer, stop shifting over oh, here. Okay. Just get out of there. Everybody's out, right? I don't, I don't know. I think so. I can't tell. The construction guy said it. Yeah, we got to make sure, but they said it. Just one guy was trapped in that truck. You see anyone in there? Take a look. Take a look. No. Be careful. We're good. I think Stuff they got out moving. there. My understanding is all the heavy equipment was parked and not in operation. Okay, well, someone must have been in here at some point. But boss man, look see, up. Look up right here. There's a D10 dozer oh, they set up there. That thing weighs 100,000 pounds plus. Okay, I'm going to start going up there. You watch from down below. Let me know if anything happens. I'm going to see if I can get some kind of cables on there or something some cribbing to get it to just stay put yeah for sure all right boss man radio in everybody's What's away up? oh the dozer's coming down oh, oh no clear 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 okay i will turn around i guess i'm not going get up there. down here the dozer just fell from the cliff and it almost rolled it, and hit everybody okay check it is anyone in there nope. is anyone hurt nobody's in there Unless no, I, I, I they could they could have been launched out on the way down. We we don't know. Look around, man. Look around. I guess I never checked, but you think that guy would have gotten out? You'd hope so. No, all clear. Nobody's down here. Nobody is hurt. But that could have been terrible. Why is there a guy in a robe here, sir? Yeah, man. What are you please. doing here? What? Get off our ladder truck. And you cannot have pop on what our ladder truck. If you drop one drop of Coca Cola on it, you're fired. Spencer, he doesn't work for us. I know. I'm just saying. I I couldn't think of anything else. Are these are these cops? I don't know. What I are think you guys doing? Maybe they're the insurance guys or something. I don't know. They look pretty uh, serious. They, yeah, they do. They do. Man, look at all the construction workers. Holy smokes! Well, everybody's clear, boss man. What I'm thinking, let's have some fun. I see a wheel loader over there. A dozer that might start. Let's get this stuff cleaned up. Boss man, that dozer fired up. Yeah, man, it did. Good work. Steve, hold everybody back and don't let anybody get in our way, honestly. I'll Here make sure go. to do that. Oh, geez. Let me get this thing over. Is that the plan? We're going to try and flip I it don't over know. here? Seems like a good idea. Okay, there we go. All right, Let's Steve, jump in this Ford speed. Raptor. See if she'll fire up. Yeah, if you can fire it up, I'm holding it back and see if you can drive away. It's kind of in the windshield right now. Go, go, go. Floor it. It's a little stuck, but I think I got it. Nice. Good work, Steve. Okay. Oh, don't wait our fire truck now. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. No, Don't I worry. did. Okay, turn the other way. There you go. Careful. All right, oh, straight. Yeah. Straight, straight, straight. Okay, I see it. It's pretty bent. Oh, let me get out of the way. All right, all good. Now, Steve, we might, once we get this baby flipped, though, we might need you to drive this way, too. Boss man, any ideas? This isn't working too good. Yeah, I thought it would just be easy with that Here we thing, go. but... Okay. Push, get underneath Maybe. there, big cat. I need some leverage. Okay. There we oh, go. Geez. It's hard to drive. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nice and low. And then drive, drive, drive. All right, oh, Steve, jump I in. Might jump be in. Going in. Jump it. in, Steve. Oh, geez. All right. Spencer, I'm in it. That's all right. That's all right. Just don't hit. Honestly, we should get our fire trucks out of here, but try not to hit our fire trucks, Steve. Okay. I got I cut out of that thing. Oh, geez. Oh, he's popping a wheelie. He's making it worse. You got too much payload back there. There he goes. He's free. Floor it. Floor it. Oh, no. The dozer. She's gone. Yeah, that thing's a lost cause. Just it's leave it. buried. What are you doing about this one? Yeah, we gotta flip this over somehow. You know what, boss man? Is this even our job? No. It's really fun, though. It is fun. You're right. I think we had our fun. I think. I said this was a success. I, I think we got scene is secure. I think we're good. Okay, there's just one more thing I want to do. Hang on one sec. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's not moving. All right, man. You're gonna get a shower of dirt. That guy's in a robe already. There you go. Nice. There we are. All right, let's get out of here before everyone gets upset with us. I think he's stuck, but yeah, let's head out. And that's it. We got the, the trucks in there, got them washed, and I'm going to go... What time is it? Let's see. It is 6.30 p.m. That took all day. I still got my fire stuff on right now. I'm going to head over to Dunkin' Donuts. I texted Jeremiah on our way back with the fire trucks. He said, hey, stop over. You know, we closed down. I'll show you what we did for the day. Well, there's no line anymore, and I don't see any donuts outside, so I think they they sold pretty good. In the place? Oh, it's pretty dirty. Jeremiah, man, you look tired. Did you get... You need, like... You need to go to bed, honestly. I was going to say, you should get a coffee, but it's 6.30.
There we go. 6,000 bucks after paying expenses, you and Stephanie. Nice, man. And you did such a good job I wasn't here. Out of my pay, I'm gonna give you a thousand, okay? I just appreciate you stepping in, taking control. All right, man. I will talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully it's hopefully it's busy, but not as busy as the grand opening. All right, Jeremiah's got the last one all by himself. We got some donuts, some coffee, some hot chocolate, and we're bringing it to the RV park. Yeah, whatever way, I'll strap it down. That's perfect. Doesn't need to look pretty. Thanks, Jeremiah. Hopefully you have a good day at work and lots of customers coming in. Well, Boss Man had this really good idea that we're gonna start giving away free coffee. We're still gonna charge for donuts, but at the RV park. So people wake up, they're a little drowsy. They can get our fresh Dunkin' Donuts coffee and some donuts. So really good idea. We'll set up like a little tent place for the morning for people. So I'm thinking I'm gonna throw up a little tent and chairs right here. And there we go, set down the hot chocolate. Got a box of, I think I think we have like 48 donuts in here. Quite a bit of donuts. All right, should be good. Oh, boss man's pulling in and he's got a boat? I have not seen that boat in a long time. If you guys remember, I wonder if that's the same boat he put in the pool. That was a long time ago. Well, this is all set up, ready to go. Opened up everything. And so when people pull in, we'll have a little sign here, free coffee, donuts, $1. You know, we're really discounting it. Just trying to get back to people who stay here. So they're happy with it. And we got an ice cream machine trash can looks good oh oh totally forgot hey sir so this is the this is game warden game warden nice to meet you yep i talked to you on the phone I, my name's spencer and then boss man my my business partner's up there as well so just drive up it'll be up on the right thanks the game warden is here about a couple weeks ago but even before we built the pond i put an order in to stock the pond with fish so he's finally here this is gonna be awesome uh oh, I think the game warden might be kind of mad. I, I wonder if he's gonna be mad at Bossman for putting his Mastercraft in the pond while we're stocking it. But anyway, how this works, this thing right now is full of water and fish. I think I ordered, I'll have to talk to the game warden, bass, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, bluegill, crappie, and what, a, trout too? Okay, some trout, anything else? Okay, just a couple catfish and, and a couple carp grass carp so they'll start eating all the algae and stuff that'll be nice boss man he said to move your boat man he doesn't you don't want to hurt the baby fish all right 3500 bucks yeah i thought it was going to be expensive but super important we have fish in the pond there you go all right man thank you have a good day that truck is awesome I got to compliment him but that truck is really cool i see it around town sometimes boss man where's your boat I left it in the water. Let's go. Can you give me a ride? Uh, maybe. Yesterday when you were joking about that, I was like, I thought I you were joking. joking. Yeah, no, no. I, I was being serious, man. I got this thing in my pool back in the day. You think I'm not going to put it in this whole lake? All right. You mind if I just take it for a rip? You stay there? All right. I'll be at the kid's little uh, playground over here. 10-4. Hopefully there's no... Watch the baby fish. We're going to have to start feeding them. All right. I'll let you do that. This is pretty cool. We got a boat in our pond. Awesome. Hey, Spencer. Yeah. Look up. Send it. Jump. Jump. Whee! There you go. Come on, man. You got to swim. You, you're too heavy. You just sink to the bottom. I'm not good at swimming. That's all right. Boys, What's I up? found something amazing. What is it? What is what, it? Uh, what? I think I might just have to show you guys. Okay. Oh. Where's it at? Hey. Just, fo just follow me. You guys are just going to have to trust me on this one. All right. We'll follow you and the banana. Well, this is going to be interesting. Steve is a very interesting guy. And so when he has a surprise and he's not even going to tell us, he needs to show us. Oh, Buster. Buster, get out of the road, man. He loves to chase cars. Buster, go get some food, man. Boss man just cut me off and went around me. I'm going to see if I can pass him. Come on, come on. Jeez, he's going to take out Steve. Steve, hold on. Oh, he just went through somebody's garage. Bro, what the heck, man? Fight, fight, fight. Uh, no, no, no. The garage. Yeah, I got to spice up the driving. You're really going so slow. Maybe you should get a better car. Maybe something that's uh, not a Chevy. Okay, you know what? I don't appreciate this disrespect. I wanted to show you guys something cool. Okay, well, okay, we'll show we'll us. You. We're here. We're here. Where the heck are we going? We're going through the bushes. There's a deer. Steve, I'm pretty sure there's a river. Oh, my goodness. What is what this? The... What is this? What do you mean, what is it? It's a skate park. Did you build it? How did you find it? It looks really old. I don't know. It was just here. And it, like I've just had such a big passion for skating ever since I was a kid. So I was like, you know what? May as well just like see where this goes from here. Wow. So you you own this thing? 
Yeah, now I do. I've never skated before. Bossman, are you a skater? I skated back in my day, but, you know, I'm a bit older now. Yeah, no, I'm a, a noob. I'm a noob, that's for sure. Do people skate on stuff like this? I feel like maybe they, like, this used to be open, and then they closed down, and, you know, maybe there's some vandalism, because there's no way it was operational like this. I don't know, but it's never too late to start renovating and everything. What's your plan, Steve? I mean, this is your land. What What do you want to do? We're, we got a day off. We could help you get it kind of cleaned up yeah i think i just want to spice it up a little bit and then i don't know just have it ready open for the public okay are you gonna charge is it gonna be kind of like a public skate park but i mean i know you own it what are you thinking get back to the kids yeah exactly that that is the exact plan okay all right man you're you're first off grab well we gotta clean it up after that go grab three skateboards you're gonna have to show me how to skate sounds good to me all right let's get to work boss man well, there's something I've kind of kept a secret from Boss Man is this trailer. I ordered it a couple weeks ago. I got to go in and pay for it. But after I bought this truck, I didn't really have a trailer. And I was always kind of using Boss Man's trailer. And it's kind of small, stuff like that. So I went ahead and got a 40-foot PJ Tandem Duels axles. Tandem axles with duels on it. Very heavy duty. I think they're 12,000 pound axles. So payload is close to 30,000 pounds with this thing and the old 3500 Duramax should be able to pull her. So I gotta go inside and pay. This is not a cheap trailer at all. It's gonna be 10,000 buckaroos. All right, that one hurt the bank account a little bit, but the trailer is gonna be super useful for things like this. We're renting this for the day. Steve said he's gonna pay for it. And I think we should make good use of it and it should work really good for our project because we gotta clean a lot of bushes, trees grew up. And then once we get it cleared, concrete guys are gonna come in and drop a smooth layer of concrete, which will not be cheap for Steve. Let's turn and burn. This looks good. Pole's good. The trailer is just long. We got to keep in mind, very long trailer. But when we are moving supplies, the Dunkin' Donuts, when we're doing future endeavors, even things like today, this comes in handy. All right, we're going to see if we can shoot through these trees, get back to the skate park. Obviously, you know what? Actually, let's unload here. I'm going to build a road back there with this thing first. Sounds like the boys should be bringing the skid loader down here. I don't know if they're already here or not. But if they aren't, I'm going to try and build a road for them so they can get back there. I quickly threw the drone up in the air. Let's see the best way of going about this. There's a few big trees in there that would take a bit longer to get. So I'm thinking there's an open patch of grass there. That might be the parking lot. All right, I think I'll go to the left there and build the road right to the skate park. Kind of blazes the first trail there. I think that's how we're going to do the road. It'll curve back up to Steve's place. And I'll keep working on that. But first, Boxman Steve said, I need to get over here and start clearing some of these bushes here. So then we can get concrete guys in by this afternoon and get this all slicked up looking nice. Steve said he's not getting us those skateboards until we get it cleared for him. Boss man, that's looking good. I'll get those bushes out of your way. Perfect. That'd be fantastic. For once, Steve is now the supervisor. Yeah, do you have to start calling him boss, man? Uh, Supervisor Steve, maybe? Super Steve? Yeah, Super Steve. I like it, I like it. I like the name Super Steve. I overheard you guys talking. It, I like that. It is, yeah, absolutely. Is this work? Are you liking the way it's turning out? Yeah, it's beautiful so far. I'm really, I'm just walking around, kind of getting at some ideas of like what to do with the place. Yeah, one of my ideas was maybe you could have like an artist come down. I, one of those ramps looks really cool, but some still has like graffiti on it and stuff and kind of ruined. Maybe do like cool like pictures and stuff, murals or something. Yeah, that would be a good idea. This is probably one of the worst spots right here. So I'm going to go hard on this. Bossman's tearing it up. Super Steve is supervising. And let's, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit once we get it knocked out. Here we go. The last set of trees right here. Bossman got most of the dirt work done. And they said concrete's on their way. There we go. Grind it up. Last one. Steve, you watch it? Yes, sir. It's all done. Get those concrete boys in here. Let's get her done. And this is what it looks like. Coming down the road, I tried to keep as many trees as possible. And the deer love it so we're coming through i guess i can't bring in a super tall truck or anything that might scrape the branches but i think it looks awesome it's secluded lots of privacy back here and the concrete boys knocked it out steve what do you think this place looks amazing i love it so what's next where are those skateboards i don't know i think we just have to go get them all right let's head down to the skate shop and we will tour the skate park fully on some boards. Let's go, boys. I feel like a kid coming out of a candy store. Let's head down to the skate park, guys. Steve, show me some of your moves. I uh, watch this. What are you gonna do? Eyes closed, double backflip, kickflip. You can't do that. That's what, what just watch. Just I can't watch even do a kickflip. Steve's doing the half pipe already. Jeez, let's see it. Oh my, oh my goodness, 720. He landed at switch. Steve, that was sick. Boss man, try and, try and do something. That was awesome, Steve, high five. 
Thank you. Oh, there goes Boss Man. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, my goodness. You guys are awesome. Holy cow. Okay, Steve wiped out. No, I didn't. I'm still on the skateboard. Here we go. Got some speed. Yes, sir. Watch the rail. Guys, big ramps over here. All right, where is it at? I'm, I'm, I don't know. Who put this rock here? <laughs> All right, here we go. Give oh. me a push. Give me a push. Okay, sorry. Yeah, you hung up. There he goes. Speed, speed, speed. Big jump, big it's jump. All we need. Holy Woo! biscuit, you overshot it. Wow, that was a cool trick. Well, boys, you have fun? Yeah, we shredded the gnar, right, Steve? Oh, 100%. And we're going to do a lot more gnar shredding soon. I'm on my way back from the skate park, bringing the skid steer back home. We might as well stop here at Duncan, check in on Jeremiah, get our donuts for the RV park, and collect some money. Let's see how much they made. Hey, Jeremiah, how's it going? Place looks really clean. Good work. All right, you got my donuts here for the RV park. Thank you. It looks like after business expense, paying everybody, and boss man taking his share, we came out at $10,000. Well, I haven't been getting the best MPG in this truck when we're pulling the trailer and the skid loader, so we got to fuel up here. All right, this is going to be a little tricky. This is kind of a tight gas station, and now I have a 40-foot trailer, so I got to watch what I'm doing. Swing wide. Don't take out any stop signs here or anything. Grayson, the owner here, would not be happy. There we go. She's starting to to fill up and i'm gonna run and grab something to eat got me a couple pizzas and while i was inside i saw an advertisement for this dirt track race sprint car race something like that and i think i remember my brother grant he was mentioning to me something about that and anyway the grand prize is 20 grand so i brought the piece of paper back the advertisement i'm gonna go tell boss man about it i think we're gonna sign up all right that wasn't cheap Jeez, that's a lot of gallons of diesel and while we're here i'm gonna run over and get my check for the fire department nice thousand buckaroos that is very good I think boss man's waiting for me because I brought fresh donuts. Move it or lose it. Open up. Good morning, boss man. Good morning. I got you some fresh donuts. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Perfect. We'll be making loads of money from this. Sold out yesterday completely. Nice. And how? it looks like we got some new RVs in there. Or some people left and then they picked different spots. Anyway, how's the RV park going? It's been going very good. And actually, if you want some money, I can yeah. definitely pay you. Let's head into the office. I was going to say, isn't it payday? It is. All right, man. So, okay, I actually have a few things to pay you for. When it comes to the RV park, yeah. here's 3500 Jeez, nice. Where did those come from? Well, they came from, we have two that are interior storage. So, oh. obviously, those are premium. We have some golf carts rented out, and we have some long-term people here as well. Nice. All right. Yeah, I'll have to go check that out. You've been handling a lot of business. Good work, boss man. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm the boss after all. It's for good reason. That's true. But next up, we got, uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, so many papers here. There's Steve's. Oh, I see Steve's check. That's okay. got oh, my okay. name you on it. That? Let me open it up yep. real quick. Three grand. There we go. So Steve, if you guys remember, I own half of Steve's towing business. Next, we got the restaurant, which uh, get ready for this. What? $5,000. Oh, dang. Yeah. The restaurant's taken off. I know. After paying all the employees yep. and everything, which we now have quite a few, and me taking my cut, you still made five grand. Wow. Like, one of the best decisions we ever made. And obviously, it's a great attraction here as well. Yeah. And then, okay, this next one's not as big, but Airbnb, here's a thousand. Okay, perfect. We got somebody staying another month. Nice. Okay. Oh, uh, a month? No, oh, man. Dude, that's a week. Oh, a week. Jeez. All right. We're charging a premium. Perfect. Thanks for handling all that business, boss man. What's your surprise? Here it is. Like, Read we'll this piece this of paper. About. Have you seen this? Uh, oh, I like the sound. $20,000 grand prize. So here's Wait, is this here, like a race. Here's what it is. It's like these sprint cars. I haven't done it before, but my brother Grant, my buddy Buck and Nate, they do it a lot. And he called me about it a week ago, but he forgot to mention the grand prize is 20 grand. So if we win this race, we get 20 grand and I will split it. That way we have, we have better odds. Buck like Bucky boy? Uh, Yeah, like Buck, like Sergeant Buck. Remember he trained us for the police role? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, I, I'm down to go. Okay, all right, there's the BP, and I think the guy's, yep, there he is, he's jumping on his hood. There they are. Okay, they're gonna give us a ride to the racetrack, and it looks like they're filling up with diesel. Hey, guys, how's it going? Terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to McGregor Dirt Track. This race is sponsored by Squad Built in American Farming. We will have two elimination races and a winner-take-all in the third race. Starting out this race, we have Buck, number 19, Spencer TV, number 98, Garrett, number 98, The Squad, number 1, Nate, number 75, and Pickle, number 50. 
At this time, would you please rise for the singing of our national anthem performed by Peter Griffin and his dirt bike. Go Buck! Racers, on your mark, get set, go! Here we oh, go! We got the jump oh, on oh, there! Oh, I got to oh, bust oh, oh, right away! We're in first! Oh, I can't move! I'm pinned! <laughs> oh, who just hit me? Oh, we're in first! Oh! Buck, watch yourself! You're flying! You came out I'm of nowhere! There. Oh, is... I think I'm in last. Oh, <laughs> oh, I think I'm done no. after this. No. <laughs> There's the squad. There we go. Grant's last. I refuse. That's it. Beat my mom. I, I, re I got third. So in that pickle over there in all black, he was last place, and I think Buck came in first, then Garrett, then myself, then Nate or squad. We'll figure out order, but we survived the first round. That was an elimination round. This next race is going to be a ten. 10 lap elimination round as well. So we just gotta not get last place in this one. Racers, on your mark, get set, go! Oh, Garrett got the jump again. Dang it. Oh, hello, right into the sign. We gotta catch the pack, Buck. They're ahead of us. Don't take me out. Oh, oh, push you. oh there's a <laughs> big wreck, big wreck. Good hit, Garrett, good hit. I am like so nervous to hit You're you. You're right Spencer. on my tail. Buck's oh. taking quarters tight. <laughs> that is it, Buck. Now crossing the finish line. Hello. There we go. I got Please. second. And then here's here's elimination. Nate or Garrett? Is it Nate or Garrett? I think it's gonna be Nate. Ooh. Nate. That is me all the way. Oh no! Oh. This Here will go. be a 15 lap shootout. A 15 lap shootout. Garrett, when you're ready. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on! I still can't get the launch. Hey. <laughs> There we go, in the lead. Come on, Buck, do not hit me. He spun me out every time. Oh. Buck spun out Spencer. Buck now on six. Watch out, debris in the field. Oh, Hello. way too fast. Oh, he, he was trying for it, I man. I was trying he to hit him. Son of a gun. They noticed. Oh, last no. lap, last lap. Nate, get him, get him. <laughs> get him. And finish. Number 19 will take the victory here. We're here at the finish line with the victor of the race, Buck, the driver of the very fast number 19. How are you feeling today? I feel absolutely spectacular. You know, the heat was kind of starting to get to it. The track was pretty slick. I will admit that we had a very great competition out there today. The uh, number 19 race machine on the we had a solid car out there one day. The track, and look at the high side, we started to really get into the stuff. The track, 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 the Big shout out to the squad built for sponsoring this event. They got that new game, American Farming, coming out. I'm going to make sure that I download that. You guys should too. It's going to be a fabulous game. Spencer, open your eyes, uh, wake up. Uh, come on, man. I'm, I'm relaxing. I'm suntanning. Come join me, actually. <laughs> Ah, man, I got work to do, and so do you. What? I got the day off. Here, let me bring the boat over. So, I was thinking, obviously I'm a millionaire. Yeah. And you obviously, uh, well, want to be, my, but you aren't. My goal, However, it, my goal is to be a millionaire, yes. Yes. Well, I think I found a solution to your, all your problems. What? And it's going to cost you some money. Okay. But it's pretty much guaranteed to make all of it back today and even a bit more. And by a bit more, I mean like 100,000 more. Are you down? I'm listening. It sounds a little sketchy. If in some way yep. you don't end up making your money back, right? And by that, I mean, if you don't end up making your money back today, then I'll give you a million dollars. That sounds too good be, to be true, but let's shake on it. Okay. Okay. There we That's go. Disgusting. That's a good shake right there. All right. Let's, where are we going? What do we got to do? All right. Well, here, hop in the golf cart. I'll, I'll walk. I need to get my steps in. Come with me. How did I beat you here, man? Golf cart's actually pretty slow. It took a second to get fired up, but what's this? This is our most useless chunk of land. Yeah. Right? Like, we were not able to get any kind of nice harvest or yield off of this. And obviously, you know, it's not the most even. It's just sitting here doing nothing. I want it to be our most valuable ground. Okay. And my thought is, you know, and I've already been talking to some people behind the scenes here, but I have someone interested in having a mobile home here. And it's one of those that's going to stay for a long time, like five years. They want to park it here. So I was thinking, what if we buy a bunch of mobile homes? Yep. Yeah. And, you know, we, we obviously, like, right now, we, I just know this one person, but hopefully we can find some more people that will want long-term rentals. We'll have them park here. They'll pay a bunch of money up front, and we're good to go. All right, step one. Looks like we need to bring in some fill dirt and level this sucker out. And I actually already figured out a solution to that problem. Remember remember when we were firefighters the other day, and we were at that big scene? The, the mining site, and we saved everybody? Yeah. They're willing to give us two truckloads of free dirt. Should fill us in nicely. Okay, perfect. Let's go. 
Hey, boss man, I was thinking. How much you think? Oh I no, I hate when you're thinking. What's up? How much do you think I would get for this tadpole? Uh, the dirt's here. The dirt's. Oh wait, no, it's not. Where? I was wrong. Uh, how much for the tadpole? I don't know. I saw dirt. I thought it was there. Um. There they are. Tadpole. What? Don't sell this. No, I'm just saying, dude. This is like an awesome car. I bet we could sell it for a lot of money. You also got it from the prison. I don't know if anyone wants to buy a used prisoner car. Okay. Well, let's. Here's our truckloads. What? We just drive these down? Yep. Yeah, they should be full of diesel, and we just need to be careful, of course. They're being very nice letting us have this for free, and then we'll just bring the trucks back later tonight. 10-4. All right, let's jump in. Let's roll some coal. How come we didn't just get some dump trucks, like some standard ones? Okay, this was free, so I don't ask questions. All right, man. Back her up. Okay. Oh, geez. Break. There we go. Uh, I feel like you're supposed to be driving that thing forward when it's dumping. It is. It goes forward after it. Uh. I think you're right, actually. We'll have the skids here down here to spread it. All right, man, I'm gonna start spreading this out and you can get dumping. Yeah, this will work good. This is good filter right here. All right, I'll try to spin this out nice and wide for you. 10-4. Yeah, you're doing a lot better than I am. Oh, I was so bad at it. You just weren't even trying. There we go, looks good. Smooth out some of these humps. Well, we got it all flattened out. They ended up bringing a few more loads of dirt down, which came in handy because we needed it. And now, boss man, I think it's time to get some homes down here. Today, we're gonna buy three mobile homes, each for $50,000, which means 75,000 each. Like we're both gonna spend 75K. Okay. And with that, we're gonna be able to rent one of them out, the current deal I have locked in. One of them's gonna be rented out for five years, which is gonna give us six hundred thousand dollars obviously divided by three yeah you me steve divided by three so two hundred thousand each boss man i just looked at my fuel gauge i'm empty oh i'm actually running low too all right pull in we're gonna be burning a lot of fuel hauling these mobile homes i'm sure we aren't gonna get good gas mileage mine costs 148 bucks oh mine was only 113 there they are boss man geez those are huge yes sir so three of these are for us all right, which ones are we picking up? It looks like they're a little different. Yes, so the red one is ours. Okay. And, oh, okay, these are so similar in color. Let's see what this says. Okay, the blue one and the gray one. Blue, red, and gray, got it. They should all have signs on the back that's oversized load, but obviously, or wide load, Yeah. we still gotta be very, very careful because, you know, some people don't really know how to read. One, two, three, four, five axles, a bunch of windows, a lot of tongue weight on our trucks there. Here, hook me up, I'll back up here all right how's she pulling it's pulling just fine i think i'm right man we just gotta swing super wide they do not turn sharp okay and yeah don't tip these that's the other thing you gotta be watching out for 10-4 let's head down the road boys this is crazy look at this turn oh oh my goodness i underestimated it boss man look at that yeah, we're going in the ditch i almost hit you there would have been bad holy cow come on you got it. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I'm going to go a lot wider than how you did that. Now, watch out for, like, everything. Uh, boss, man, you're there. in the ditch there. Jeez, it almost okay. tipped. It adds some character, man. All right, put your Don't hazards on. About it. They're on. Here we go, right down the middle. That's the only way we're going to make this bridge. Okay, I'm going to hang back. I don't want this thing to collapse or something. Dude, they, a lot of weight. they haul huge pieces of equipment across that. That way, way more than that. Okay, we'll still want to be careful. There's Dunkin' Donuts. All right, boss man, I got an idea. Hear me out. There's no way we're going to make the turn. So we actually got to turn into the hay barn and then back in. That sounds a little sketchy. Okay, I'll let you do it first. I'll just watch you. The only bad part is they don't have a huge driveway either. It is wider than ours. Okay, swing super wide. Okay, now look at what I do here, boss man. I pull her straight. You see that? Yes, I'm, I'm watching. Watch the dip. Okay, all right. Now, hey, don't move any further. I'm backing up. Okay, I'll stay right here. Are you sure you got this? Here, I'll go on foot and watch you. Yeah, I got it. Just tell me if I, if there's any, make sure Buster's not in the way, actually. I have no clue where he is, but keep on coming just nice and straight. Do not mess this up. All right, start turning. Uh, okay, you should be good now to start turning. Just a little bit, don't get too crazy. There we go, that that wasn't too bad. There we are, all right, now all the way down to the spot. All right, boss man, I'm thinking back here in the corner, and then we're gonna build, obviously, grass around it. This is the house that is already purchased. Well. We don't have the money for it, but on contract, they're coming to move in today, so this is our priority. 
All right, I think that's a good spot right there. Let's disconnect and get her stationed and drop down. And there we go. We got the porch on, and then we have this. We we kind of extended everything, got it unfolded out of transport mode pretty much, and it's level square. We drop blocks. This place is ready to go. Now we got to seed the ground, get it ready, get it looking pretty, and they're going to be here in a couple hours. Yes, sir, and we should be paid on the spot when they arrive. Perfect. Boss man's finishing the final touches there, and I'm going to pull in our last trailer. That way we just get it parked. We aren't going to do what we did on that because that took all day, and the proposed buyers are going to be here any minute all right i just dropped this trailer here we're thinking that's where it's gonna go obviously we're just gonna leave it there for now when's what's the buyers getting here boss man they should be here within the next 30 minutes and man you need to go get the final mobile home because okay. they want it out of there perfect okay uh, yeah i totally forgot i'll get that and i will wait to check out what you got finished up there till i get back with the trailer all right, this is the last one we're picking up today. If this business venture works out, and obviously we make a bunch of money, there's three more mobile homes to buy here, and I think we're going to do it. But I just don't have enough money in my bank account right now, so you got to make money first. All right, we got the last one coming in here. Perfect. I think I'll just park it. I'll park it really close because we aren't going to mess with these probably for a little bit until we line up a buyer and then we'll spend the time to get it all decorated and stuff. But if we do have time in the future, we can do that too. We just, if, if anybody's watching wants a mobile home, let me know. All right, boss man, give me a tour. This looks great. Well, before I do that, yeah, I need you to check your bank account. Oh, let me pull it up. Oh, no way. Plus 200 grand. They yes, already sent the money in. They did. Apparently, they're stuck in traffic, so they're going to be a bit, but they wanted to, you know, be accountable and sent in the money. Nice. Okay, this place looks good. Well, I guess we can rip out the for sale sign. That's for sure. Open up, big cat. I'm heading to pick up some golf carts. Some golf carts are the who's money. I grabbed your credit card last night, remember? Of course. It, okay, go get them. I'll see you back here. All right. Thanks, man. Shouldn't take me too long. I'll be back. Passing by Steve's shop, and the golf cart should be right down there. Oh, there's Steve. What's going on, big cat? Oh, I'm just uh, out for my nice brisk walk in the morning. I'm just in such a good mood since... I just wanted to congratulate you, actually, on uh, getting everyone 200 grand. Yeah, I was going to say, does your wallet feel a bit thicker? Yes, and it actually kind of makes me want to spend some money. So if you're willing, I do kind of need your help with something. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm listening. So I'm looking to upgrade this shop, like... I just have these visions and I just feel like we can evolve it. Okay. Upgrade it? Like, upgrade it how? Like, upgrade it. Like, like we're just going to make it like, I don't know, like two, three times the size. I don't know. All the equipment in there is going to be better and just better vibes all around. All right, big cat. Keys should be in them. Let's get them loaded down. And then I got straps in the back. All right, man. Don't wreck them. They're five grand a piece. Don't worry. I'm the best driver in town. There we go. How much, like, I know you just made 200 grand the other day. I did too in boss, man. But how much are you thinking it's going to cost you to build this new shop? I was thinking maybe a few million. Jeez. And there we go. We have six golf carts. Already put two underneath for long-term storage. Our customers absolutely love it. And here we are. Let's get the skid steer unloaded. It looked like when I pulled in, Steve was giving it one last look. Holy biscuits and gravy. Boss man, you can haul that thing? It pulls it. Does it pull well? No. Jeez okay. Louise. Got the job done. You're going to pop the tires on my brand new trailer. That's okay. You bought it. I guess so. Well, unstrap it. I'm going to let you back it off. I'm actually nervous. Somehow you got it up on there. Watch the professionals. There's literally a hair on my chinny chin chin that it doesn't slip off. There we go. Dude, why are you stressing? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because that's a 130,000 pound machine and you just pulled it with a pickup? All right, we're going to be removing some of these trees. Steve's cutting down over there. I'm trimming this up. Sounds like the parking lot might extend. This is a huge building, they're, they're telling me. So this is going to be pretty crazy. Boss man, you better quit playing in the rocks. Sounds like build supplies are going to be here any minute. Yeah, well, there's a lot to still do. I'm not playing over here, unlike some people. Hey, I'm grinding stumps over here. They called me and said 30 minutes at the most. They'll be here. Well, next thing I know, I grind a few stumps and turn around. Boss man got it all tore up. Hey, 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 there's a skateboard. Careful. I'll be right here, man. I know. I see you. Let me grab this Watch skateboard. You almost think hey, Steve, here's your legendary skateboard. My skateboard? I left it in the shop? Yeah, I guess. Hey, boss man, they just came in with a shipment. I didn't even see him pull in. Yep, and there's going to be another truckload coming soon. Well, I probably didn't notice him pulling in because it's a Tesla semi-truck. This thing is quiet. It's as if it's electric. 
That makes sense. All right, here's all your building supplies, Mr. Builder. You you better get out of that excavator and get to work. All right, I'm gonna jump in the skid steer, start smoothing out your mess. Steve, you kind of be the you know kind of foreman or or the boss man and kind of kind of direct. Hey, 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 that's my name. No, okay, he's the foreman. You're the foreman here. Direct, coordinate, make sure everything's looking the way you want it to. Here we go. Move that semi. There she is. That's awesome. This is way bigger than I thought, but it doesn't look, it looks kind of like a warehouse, but the brick is really nice. Then you have an all glass, like showroom customer service area. Slick, yeah, wait, where's Steve? He ran in here. I'm not quite sure where oh, he went. He, he was probably so excited to check it out. He couldn't wait for, for the semi to even move. Yeah, yeah, no, he, he's definitely in here somewhere. Looks Don't like he already hired an employee. Hi, my name's Spencer. All right, what's in here? Let's see. Oh, ah! oh geez. Shut the door. Okay. Shut the door. Okay. Oh, it smells. Shut the door. Wh why didn't you knock? Why didn't you lock it? Yeah, that's Touché. a good point. All right, man. Anyways. Well, we're checking it out. Once you're done in there, Steve, come out. We're honestly, give us a tour. Yeah, make sure you use some Febreze. Oh, I will. I got it stocked up back here. All right, man. Give us a tour. It looks like you already know the place like the back of your hand. Yeah, exactly. I just had to be the first one to use the washroom, you know? Like, that that's how I know it's my shop. I understand. Marking your territory is very important. I get it. So basically, if you look over here, this is where I'm going to be working on all the cars and stuff, of course. Yep, all the lifts. And just, yeah, a lot of new equipment and stuff, like way bigger than the other shop. I'm definitely more excited to work in here. And if you see over here, we also have a lot of art on the wall. Yeah. Actually, you could just see around. Like, it just looks beautiful, honestly. For sure, got a yeah. a paint booth over here. What is this about? Oh, we can uh, make our cars nice and pink. Yeah, exactly. Pretty like slick. Like fans working up top. That's cool. So now, if I start buying some fixer-uppers, or I see a good deal on Facebook, but I need some work, I just come drop it off here, you slick her up, and I could sell it for a profit. Oh, easily. Yeah, we could definitely do that. All right. Are you guys still 50-50 in this business? Well, he did just put down a couple million for this building, which I had no part in, but I think we, we're 50-50 on the towing side, not the mechanic side. Spencer, what? I got a text message. Um, so remember when we got those mobile homes? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, You picked up the wrong one. Well, apparently we got to bring back this green mobile home. I grabbed the wrong one. We got to grab the gray one once we bring back the green one. That was a mess up. We're going to do that real quick, and the boys are going to get one of the... They're going to get that red mobile home all prettied up and some turf installed, I think a fence maybe, and some, you know, kind of all the things to get it ready to sell. Jeremiah's working at the Dunkin' Donuts store. Let's give him a show. Let's see if I can get this baby on two wheels. Come on. There we go. Oh, we're getting squirrely. Stay out of the ditch. There we go. Two wheels riding. Oh, wow. We got it. That is awesome. That is awesome. We held it for a second there at least. And there we go. Here's the gray one. We grabbed the right one this time, and hopefully they got the spot all tidied up. All right, that's good for now. And you guys got it about finished up. Just build out the driveway. Anything else? Some other things? Yeah, well, why don't I get a few other things done? Like maybe some better flowers, uh, you know. Okay. Maybe some more color would be nice. All right, I'll work on the flowers. You guys get the driveway, meet in the middle. This place looks great, and the flowers came together. Good work on the driveway. Let's get her listed. You got some pictures taken? Uh, I'll be taking them here when the oh, oh, lighting's a little bit We need the for better. sale sign. For sale sign, forgot about that. Oh, we'll put it right yeah. here. And there we go, for sale. Good work, Steve. Thanks for pounding that in. All right, so uh, Dunkin' Donuts here is 12000 Holy biscuits. Next up, RV Park, 5000 Okay, good, good. But here's a real kicker. Yep. You know that restaurant? Yeah. Well, here's another 10000 Jeez, last time, what was it, five? Ah, uh, yeah, it's something some, like that. Uh, definitely yeah. lower than 10 that's for sure. Fire station, $1,000. Okay, yep, we've been working a few extra hours there. And then, oh, Steve sent a check, too. Do you want this one as well? Yeah, for the tow one? Yep, that yeah. works. Yeah, here's 1200 Okay, nice. I'm that's actually, everything. I'm going to, on my way back from Dunkin' Donuts, I'm going to stop there and see how, see, talk to him, see if he's there working or some of his employees. Okay, sounds good. I'll be here, so let me know when you're back. And we made it to Duncan, looking... Oh, Jeremiah! Hey, watch out. I don't want to run into you. Okay, he's excited to see us bring the coffee beans, the strawberries. Let's get the straps undone there. All right, Jeremiah. Yep, start grabbing. I'll be right behind you. He said, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got to keep her moving. Set it down. Keep going. All right, man. Good work. Dunkin' Donuts. The store's doing really good, and you're doing so good. We're selling out a product. So I'm going to give you a bonus. This is outside your salary. Here's another thousand bucks just for your weekly bonus. You've been working super hard, man. It always feels really good to treat Jeremiah. He's so appreciative. I got to hurry back to the RV park to meet boss, man. Today might be the day that we get it like really far along. We're going to work super 
super hard and get it fairly well complete. I don't have much time, but I wanted to stop and see the shop because Steve is open for business. Kind of want to see if he has a bunch of customers. Don't want to really interfere with him. Oh, he's got a little air service station, so that's good to know. And if I ever get a flat tire around this place, I'm probably going to use his air. Place is looking good. They're working on cars. I'm, I'm going to let them be, but they have quite a bit of cars in there. I just kind of wanted to peek my head in, see how things are going. Today's the big day, boss, man. I'm ready to work. All right. Well, you better be because we have so much to do. Lots of trucks are coming, delivering supplies. It's going to be a long day. All right, boss, man. You said trucks are on the way. What the heck? You're the boss, man. What's the plan? Okay, we have so much to do today, so I don't want to overwhelm you, but we'll just break down one step at a time. Yes, the sir. The first step is we need more interior storage. This land right here, yep. I want to build two nice big structures that people, you know, the, the people who have lots of money in the bank accounts, I want them to be parking here. Okay, fair enough. So similar to what we have, just bigger, two or three, depending on how much space. All right, yeah, I'll do the dirt work then. All right, start tearing up the ground. There we go, scraping away all the corn stalks. There's a few spots we gotta level, but the ground is fairly level, which always helps. So first thing, I'm starting to outline kind of where we're gonna work. And drop her down, get in there and scrape. There we go, looks good. Create a nice edge. Oh, we gotta dig, the ground's kinda hard because when we build out this concrete to my left here, come on. There we go, then I like to back drag it just a little bit, smooth out any rough spots there. That looks pretty good. All right, hitting the finishing touches. Boss man texted and said they're gonna be here any minute. So I gotta get out of here cause, cause we're done. The, the construction guys are gonna start working. Boss man's gonna be working. I'm just gonna pull the skits here in here. Concrete guys might wanna use it. And we'll be building buildings like this a bit bigger. These two guys that are parking the RVs here are renting out the full space. Right now they just aren't utilizing it cause they have other, I think they had like some other equipment they were using. But anyway, this thing's all rented out which is making quite a bit of money. We got a truckload of rock here and boss man's getting the skid loader ready. We're gonna build out the building pad for the building and then the builders will be here any minute. Good thing boss man is a pro in that thing at spreading rock. Let's see it, don't make a mistake. That looks pretty even. Oh, I'm nervous with you watching, man. Well, you're on the clock. Anyway, I think one more truckload of gravel is gonna come in here and it should be enough to cover our base. Well guys, here it is. Boss man's talking to the electricians. They're getting all the electricity hooked up for the place. I don't know how he gets to talk to him because he has no idea what he's talking about, but this is the first building. This is the nicest one we built. Super large, a lot of square feet in here. Two, technically three huge opening garage doors. Super nice hydraulic lift, cylinders, crazy nice. We already have some tools in here too. So this is gonna be a pretty penny to rent out, that's for sure. Boss man, let's keep checking out the buildings. The next one, this one's a bit tighter. We were able to fit three in here. We, we, we didn't know if we could, but this turned out really good. Yeah, someone could definitely fit a full big size RV in here, 40 foot or whatever's needed. And then maybe even like a car or two as well. Maybe they have like a Razor or some, you know, some kind of side by side. Yeah, absolutely. You could you could fit a giraffe in there too. He just needs to duck down. And then once he's in there, he's got all the room in the world. No, we're, we allow pets, but we do not allow zoo animals. Okay. Not Fair happening. Enough. Fair enough. So that's going to be a step down from the rent that the other one costs. And then this one, this one's kind of neat. A little smaller square footage, but you got two bays. So, and then a, a kind of like a stoop or a, like a porch area here. So people can have their privacy, put a grill out here, kind of hang out when you're, when you're taking a break. Yeah, man. Three different designs for, you know, three different types of people. But we are not done for the day, man, because we got to make some outdoor spots. Yep. We got a lot of more work to do. Let's keep going. Well, since we have the electricians here as well, they can set up all our charging stations and put in our electrical outlets. Yeah, yeah, they'll be here all day getting stuff hooked up for us. But all these rows of spots we have here, or I guess the singular row, you know yep. what I'm saying? We're going to mirror this on the other side. Now, okay. I was thinking in between those two different rows, we obviously we want, you know, people have a bit of space to move around and do whatever. So yep. I was thinking we can make a little pathway here for okay. golf carts. Go go along this way, like in between the the two sides? Yeah, like look behind you. There's all the golf cart stations yep. out there, right? So make it'd be path. perfect. Yeah, exactly. You can get to whatever spot in the park you need to. Nice and convenient, and you don't have to go through anyone else's chunk of property. 10-4, that makes sense. Let's fit as many as we can in here, and we'll go from there. All right, let's get to work. Looks good, boss man. You were in charge of the path, and I think it turned out good. Yeah, should be nice and strong. Made it really compact, so, you know, if it rains or anything, we're not going to have any sort of issues. Don't yes, want those sir. golf carts getting stuck, you know? That's right. That's right. We're going to have a lot of issues. We got one, two, three, four, five. 
six seven new spots build out so that's a lot of a lot more potential income obviously we need to rent out these spots but during busy time of the year coming up we should have these all rented out yes sir and i need you to hop in a golf cart i'm a hopping a golf cart and we got to go address some major issue we got in our design uh, okay 10-4 beat you there what are we gonna race that you gotta go down the golf cart path oh true that's probably a good plan duh but the the issue with the path is it doesn't extend out far enough like look wh where do we go now yeah we're in construction in progress one step at a time like you said okay okay well here here, here hop stay out, in your hop golf out. cart and we'll just kind of imagine driving through the new path okay okay well here's the issue yeah we have the restaurant right there okay you want the golf carts and people at the restaurant to be getting collisions well no yeah no. that's okay we don't, so we're gonna need to extend this out this way. Hang a right turn. Yep, now obviously we have the water, so I was thinking, you know, maybe we place a fence or something for some division, but in addition to that, maybe we have like a little playground over here. All right, let's get working on that path, and I'm gonna, you work on the path, and I'm gonna get this mobile home ready to, to list and get for sale. Okay. Well, that turned out pretty good, and got the driveway installed, and the most important, for sale sign is up. I took pictures, put it on our website. Boss man's here. Are you ready for our tour? Yes, I'm ready. He went crazy and installed all the cart paths, all the vehicle paths, so people that live here can drive up and out. There's the mobile homes, and we're going to be adding more once people obviously buy more. That will take time. Here's the restaurant we're pulling into, and then the RV, you know, camper parking spots coming up. So there's that path to go store your golf carts once you pick them up. Skitsier's down there working on a few things. Here's the path around the restaurant. And we're thinking, boss man, what's going to go right to the right here? We're going to build a playground. Well, we got the playground installed. So I designed it and it is a playground. It looks like a playground, but boss man said it kind of looks like a military like boot camp. All right. So obviously this is all going to be split between you, me, and Steve. And the total is... Three hundred thousand dollars, which means a hundred thousand each. Okay, dang. All right, it's worth it though. We're gonna be making a lot of money coming up, but it does hurt the pocket a little bit. In the past seven years, I went from a worn-out limo and zero dollars in the bank to owning many businesses worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. This is my journey to become a millionaire.